I just chopped down some of these trees, you can see. And uh, we're gonna make ourselves a nice uh, scrape tree out in the middle of the plot there. And a tip I can give you guys is if you wanna keep your buck from rubbing the tree and it falling over, because obviously I'm just digging a hole and putting this in here, get one with branches that can be close to the base that keeps them from rubbing it quite as much and at least doesn't make it to where they're gonna push it over. So we're going to uh, go get this bad boy set up right now. This will be pretty cool. So what I'll probably use this one for, so I'll take a screw and step and screw it into one of those trees over there and then actually hang this over pretty far and I'll chop it into two and use these branches because there's no really natural limbs that hang over low enough um, for them to scrape on right here. So I'm probably gonna use this other tree. So I'll use this bad boy right here. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Then we'll have this limb right here. Once I bury it, probably 18, 20 inches. I'll have this limb hanging over and we'll put a mock scrape right there and they ought to just go bananas. And it's only gonna be about 20 yards. This should be perfect. It's gonna get hot. About to dig a 20 inch hole with the coastal digger. Get this tree in. It's gonna be, it's gonna be sweet this fall, that's for sure. All right, should be deep enough. I took it about 27 inches down, so if a buck does rub this tree, shouldn't knock it over. Well, zip strips are definitely gonna be your friend. Um, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I make the best scrape tree that you possibly can. So, as you guys can see, I dug a big hole right here. I do it about 22, 23 inches deep. And um, I left off, as you can see, like a branch right here. It'll help keep the tree from being tipped over by a buck rubbing it or whatever. And then also, the branches were a little high and a little low. They weren't perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make them the perfect height off the ground. So I cut off this bottom branch, nice, thick, full of leaves. Now, this is where the zip strips come in. So what I'm gonna do, is this nice, big, bushy branch, I'm gonna zip strip onto this tree at, at the exact height I want. Okay, so once I figure out exactly where I want it, I'll just run this zip strip. Just take the zip strip like this. Tighten that bad boy down. Put another one right up here. It's also nice about zip strips, these are plastic, they don't have any smell. So, this branch is a little low, but I did that on purpose. That way I could pull it just right about there. This will stay here all season and not weather or anything. There, there you go. And now we will put that scrape right here. This buck will go absolutely bananas, rubbing his, his glands all up in these leaves and branches. And a, another tip for you, try not to use uh, branches that are super sharp 
you're going to want something soft because they're going to be putting their eyes up in these. So you're going to want to keep keep this branch soft. As you can see, these right here, they don't have any sharp edges or anything. So that, that makes them a little bit more desirable to put scrapes down below these branches. So let's finish the job. It was super thick with big virgin timber, so well, just tall timber and not a lot of low hanging limbs, so there's not a whole lot of spots for the bucks to make scrapes. And since the food plot didn't do, <laughs> didn't do really well, um, there's really not a whole lot of reason for them to come through here other than to check those or check their scrapes. So I'm setting up some limbs, as you can see, with some zip strips and uh, rigging it up so there's going to be plenty of places for them to make scrapes and come checking these and hopefully give us a shot in that tree stand there and uh, hoping this camera sensitivity will get all the way out here and I'll be able to get two scrapes on camera and I don't know but we'll find out but either way this should be a money spot for big buck all right I want to show you guys a little tip here so obviously I want to put the scrape right here you can see there's not a ton of branches here. Well, these branches don't do me any good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut those and zip strip them out here so there's a big, nice overhang and uh, lots of leaves, a lot of places to leave the gland scent from the big buck. And uh, a lot of people would just leave that, which it would work, but this will do a much better job. Let me show you. Like this. Now, instead of throwing these branches away, I'm gonna zip strip them up here. thick overhang this is good get a raking and another tip a lot of guys use their foot and do this and, and then put a, a little pee on the ground I like to use a rake because digging up that soil I think that fresh soil smell is really really good to do and it'll make it a lot easier for them to freshen up too if you get all the crap out of the way and make it nice and easy for them so yeah that fresh dirt smell that's gonna be very attractive you can see how loose this dirt is that's nice they like that a lot better than just working your foot Big scrape. There we go. <laughs> That's a scrape. Then we get some antler ice put in there. Buck ought to go pretty hog wild over this. All right, this this branch we actually put in the ground earlier today, and uh, we had a doe. We literally went to town, grabbed lunch, came back and a doe had already come and checked out the tree. So this is pretty cool. We're gonna make another scrape using the rake and uh, put a little close to the tree I'll stand, I'll be honest. It's about 12 yards it feels like, but this would be really awesome if a big buck shows up here. because He will get smashed. That's gonna be good. I 
am excited about this. Okay. Go get the deer pee. We'll get this all sexied up and we'll get out of here. Well guys, I like to use antler ice because last year I tried this stuff out for the first time and I killed an absolute giant buck that was hitting a scrape um, with this. And I had just about every buck in the county coming in and hitting that scrape. So I know this works. So we're gonna use it here on our Illinois farm. A lot of people put a couple drops and a deer on average urinates at least four to six ounces so you, you can't be shy with the pee unfortunately. I'll put a little in the trees just to help get a little thin out. A deer is going to wonder how the heck he hiked his leg up and peed that high but that's okay. It'll be fine. At least get him to come check this stuff out. All right let's go do the other spot. You guys can see I got two spots out of one bottle. You can't be shy with this stuff. Again, you're only going to use it for a few weeks out of the whole year. Like, really use it, you know, when it's going to matter the most, like right now. So don't be cheap. Buy a few bottles and make this stuff actually useful by putting a lot in each scraper. So I get about, during the rut, I go through about seven, eight bottles. I'll use almost an entire bottle a day when I'm hunting during certain peaks, peaks of the rut. So yeah, let's keep going. We got a lot of scrapes to set up. All right, we're setting up our third tree here in the, the food plot. And again, this is for scrapes. We got the camera here, tree stand right there, blind right there. This is gonna be perfect. And we're gonna set this bad boy up. And, uh, get this thing buried in. And then trim all the leaves, create one big giant licking branch, and it's gonna be good. Cut off all the excess branches that you don't want, and then zip strip them all again as one big overhanging limb. I cannot tell you how well this works. In fact, it works so well. Where's my phone? I'm gonna get my phone and show you guys. We just set up this mock scrape at another food plot on the other end of the property, and we already had two deer come and hit it. I mean, that tells you how well it works. I'm gonna go get my phone. Out. Look, there's the little buck coming in already. That's the the tree. We put antler ice right there and antler ice right here. You can see I zip stripped all that in and put that tree just like we're doing here. And there's already. Check this out. Let me find it here. So deer coming. There's a doe. Right here's a doe in the scrape with the antler ice. This was not even an hour ago. Another doe checking it out. Look at that, both spots. A little doe checking out that. And then a doe straight in the scrape. That is why this is so effective. I don't make this stuff up, it actually works, so. Go. I'm gonna put some all season doe pee in this one. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna put the whole bottle down here. That ought to make things interesting. Thank you so much for your support and if you want to join the bow hunting family hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications to be one of the first to see our new videos posted. 
If you're new to our channel, check out our other videos. We have over 70 bow hunts that I think you'll enjoy. And if you'd like to keep up with us daily, make sure you go over to Instagram and give us a follow there.